You have to keep doing things. You have to be someone who takes action. A change agent is a leader because of the actions they take. They have to have the ability to consistently take action. Now, here's the fundamental that most people misunderstand. Most of the time when you act, it's not that you're always going to be successful. A lot of the people who are successful in society aren't successful because every time they do something, they succeed. No, no, no. The truth is that most people fail more than they succeed. But by failing, they understand what not to do. And then they change their method, or they change their action, and they adjust their strategy and do something else, and eventually they succeed. But they're willing to take action. They're willing to do what it takes and put themselves out there. They're willing to do what they need to do. And so that's an important part. Are you willing to do what is required? Are you willing to take what it is that you're passionate about, that what drives you, the things that you want to change in yourself and the world around you, and are you willing to take the steps that are required to make those changes possible? The old maxim of there are very little people doing stuff and those who show up end up leading is true because so few people show up. So few people do the action that is required and that when you do take some steps, you're naturally propelled to be the leader of your cause or the leader of your issue or the person who is communicating the most in that area because you continuously do it. You're the person who keeps taking the action. And that's what's important. Now, when we talk about expressing your thoughts, expressing your ideas, or getting people to believe in you as a change agent, it comes back to communication and leadership, yes, but credibility. Credibility, meaning what makes you a type of person that other people will think is worthy of listening to. And a lot of that comes back to what we were talking about earlier, beliefs. Beliefs. Now, as we talked about the first renaissance and how people changed their beliefs, we're talking about a new renaissance here. Whether you're a Muslim and looking at the society that we see around us and, and thinking that we need to change, as the world around us is saying, where are the Muslims who are talking about change? Where are the Muslims who are focusing on positive reinforcement and leadership and communication? Well, you have to believe and be fervent and passionate in your beliefs. And if you are passionate about what you believe, it gives you the credibility that you're looking for. Why? Because other people who are looking at you and looking to see if you are credible in what you're doing want to know not if what you're saying is correct. No, it's often true that sometimes we say things that are incorrect and we might propose an idea that might not work. They don't want to look and see if your plan is foolproof. They're not looking to see if you're the greatest authority that they've ever met. They're listening and looking to see if you truly believe what you're talking about. And if you're passionate and your heart and soul is in your ideas, then other people feel that from you. Other people can feel that vibe and that passion in your voice and in your art, in your music, in the way you express yourself. And that gives you the credibility that you're looking for. And so if you want to be a change agent, then you have to consistently take action for your cause, for your organization, for your social idea, for your method, for your art, for your expression, for your music, for your vision, for your voice. You have to consistently be expressing that with passion so that other people can see the credibility that you need. And by consistent action, then that is how you understand and get to be a position of a change agent. Now, change is difficult, we all know. And when we're talking about a Renaissance generation, 
We're not talking about a demographic group or a certain age bracket. We're talking about what? A change in mindset. A change in mindset. The development of a large group of people over an area that changed their mindset to become open to new ideas and concepts. To be able to understand that change is a slow process and that change as a Renaissance movement is not a revolution. The Renaissance ideas that I'm talking about, we're not talking about revolution. We're talking about changing the mindset of people on a large scale. And so that's what we mean when we say creating a Renaissance generation by developing new leaders and thinkers and people to express themselves in various fields by becoming change agents. And where does that change come from? Well, if we look to the Zen masters and here we're going to close off. If we look to the Zen masters, I'll give you a quick joke so that you can understand it. A Zen master visits New York. And as he's traveling, looking around the society and world around him in the great city of New York, he sees what most people see as being something so common in New York, and that's a hot dog vendor. So the Zen master goes up to the hot dog vendor, looking at the hot dogs and all the different selections of items that you can put on the hot dog. And the Zen master looks at the hot dog vendor and he says, make me one with everything. The hot dog vendor looks at the Zen master and starts putting together a hot dog. And as he's doing it, the Zen master takes out a $20 bill from his breast pocket and he gives it to the hot dog vendor. The hot dog vendor hands him the hot dog and he tweaks, takes the $20 bill and puts it in the box and closes the box. Surprised and shocked, the Zen master looks at him and says, excuse me, where's my change? The hot dog vendor looks at the Zen master and says, change comes from within. See, change comes from within you. You have to be the change that you're talking about. You have to be the change that you want to have happen. If you want to change something in the world around you, you have to be that change. Change comes from within. This is a continuing series on the Renaissance, and if you're interested more on this series and other concepts on how we change the world around us, go to hotconflict.com where we have our blog, videos, audios, on different issues relating to Muslims and the Muslim world and the whole world around us. My name is Salim Siddiqui. Thanks for listening to HotConflict.com. Assalamu alaikum. Peace.